Hey what's going on guys, my name is Delta Hunter and today we're going to be playing some Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer online and this game is really really fun. I, I was in the beta for it um, a long time ago and I don't know if you guys Round recall one. a long time ago me putting up uh, on fails week for the actual the next gen tactics contest director contest it was fails week and I put up an Assassin's Creed Brotherhood uh, fails video that was pretty bad and I just want to let you guys know that I am not that bad at Assassin's Creed and I actually um I actually found out to be uh, I'm pretty good at Assassin's Creed as you watch me die which is yeah that does not do me justice right there but um this was a really good match and I, I am a really really big Assassin's Creed fan. I, I love Assassin's Creed. Um, I've already beat the story mode, beat the. Um, you have taken the. I, I played. I don't know why I skipped number two, but I, I did. I actually did skip number two, and I was kind of lost in the story mode, but I had my brother fill me in, so that was all good. And story mode is really amazing. It's if you guys have ever played Assassin's Creed one, and you uh, found the missions to be very repetitive. And stuff like that well you're in for a treat this time because in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood pretty much none of the missions are repetitive at all I'm not sure about Assassin's Creed 2 like I said I skipped that but Assassin's Creed Brotherhood the missions are amazing and they're they're really really fun um, I overall and a very entertaining experience for me and the multiplayer is amazing for me actually since I was in the beta I have a little heads up on other people and I actually started playing yesterday, which is a couple weeks after um, its release. Kind of like Black Ops. It, I mean, because I mean, it came out the week after Black Ops. So, I mean, it, it probably is a bad release date for Assassin's Creed, but, you know, um, it's still a great game. I mean, but it, it's hard to generate sales right when Black Ops comes out when your release date is a week after, which kind of sucks, but, I mean,. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but we, uh, my brother actually picked up this game and got the whole legendary pack and all that kind of stuff, and it, it's, pro it's probably my favorite game right now because I don't know about you guys, but Call of Duty Black Ops is getting really stale for me, and not just Black Ops, but the uh, Call of Duty franchise in general, and I don't know about you, but I'm looking for something new in the future. Possibly with a, you know, I'm really looking forward to Respawn Entertainment's game whenever that may come out, you know, a couple years or whatever. But they need to take their goddamn time on that because they're going to they, they're gonna make a Call of Duty killer. Oh, God. I wouldn't be the happiest person in, in the world because even, even though I love you Call of Duty, it's just that love hate relationship, you know. Um, everyone can find things about that game. That is bad because everyone plays it, and you know. But uh, I, I think the video game community in general needs something else besides Call of Duty. You know, that's pretty much every everybody plays it, and it's getting a little stale and old for me. I'm not. I don't know. It's it doesn't have that wow factor like it did when COD 4 came out, and you know, it's you know just. Oh, another installment, you know, uh, you know, they took out Stopping Power and Juggernaut, remaining. that's cool, but I want a new game, so, I don't know, I'm, so I, I don't, I've jumped on Assassin's Creed, and, uh, multiplayer is super fun on this game, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, if you guys haven't picked it up, you really should, you guys are missing out if you haven't, and so, today I was actually playing, in this match I was playing with my buddy Spoon, uh, he was actually wearing a Snuggie as we were playing, and he got for Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> if, you, if you guys have a Snuggie, let me know if you guys like that or not. I'm curious. Um, so, end of round one, we are ahead by a thousand points. Actually, we were all divided by a thousand for a second and third, and the game mode I'm actually playing right now is called Alliance. So, the objective of the game mode is to uh, you know basically what you do on multiplayer um, you assassinate your contracts while you avoid getting assassinated by your contracts but the well, contracts as your contracts are trying to kill your to assassinate all members um, of the your hunters that are hunting you so it's a triangle 
if you uh, if you guys it, it put it into perspective um, right before the match started that triangle of what's going on and um, a really good tactic I found that we don't re we don't uh, use it in this match but in other matches we actually use it use it a lot it's um it's a very good tactic for alliance and I, we find every time we're down we use this tactic and we shoot up by probably 3,000 points and that is if you guys actually um, blend yourself in a crowd both you guys in a crowd and one of you has your morph ability morph everybody in the crowd to look like you guys and okay if you guys don't know what the morph ability is it's uh, an ability it's kind of like perks in Call of Duty so you have abilities and perk slots kinda so your perk it's called morph and what morph ability does is when you're in a crowd you can press L2 or R2 whatever one you have it designated to and it will morph everybody in the crowd to look like you so it'll be like five or six people that look just like you so your your hunters have no idea which one it is unless they have like retarded Templar vision which is uh, pretty gay so um, you can do that uh, morph everyone in your little uh, your little thing your, your group of people you morph everyone in your group of people and then as your um, as your hunters come to you you know because you and your partner are both there so they're gonna come to you and you you spot them so one of you guys have you could both have smokes too but um, when you smokes them and stuns them and if you stun both of them like me and my friend Spoon have in a, a lot of games then that forces your targets to come looking for their targets which is right next to you so when they come and look for their targets you're right there and you get easy kills which uh, happens probably 85 percent 90 percent of the time that I find and it's, it's a great strategy if you find yourself down but a couple games it didn't work because the, our targets I mean our hunters actually didn't come after us which that's doesn't work for that so yeah um, good strategy there and this round we were just trying to just rape face and get a lot of points I, I actually end up going I, I get a lot of points because I get a couple of multi kills and stuns and all that good stuff so I have to say probably my favorite perk is the smoke bomb because without the smoke bomb I would die a lot but um, you have to learn to watch your back especially but it helps if you're in a if you have your partner uh, it helps to watch out and you can call out things quicker and find better solutions to different things people come in what should you do you know uh, a couple times we just bum rushed people like uh, on another video I probably might upload if you guys like this and comment if you want me to more upload more Assassin's Creed gameplay I will but uh, it it was hilarious because <laughs> we we stunned our target and like both of the guys dropped down our targets and we just bum rush them and they they took off running so fast and it, we just just pounced on them it was pretty <laughs> it was it was hilarious I might actually do a live commentary also because it, it was just the the voice chatter between me and Spoon oh yeah it was hilarious we were we were having so much fun and uh, it's almost the end of the game here yeah 17 seconds actually my video lags on me so it might be off um yeah it's almost over I probably should render my videos out before I actually do commentary but either way uh that is the game so the yeah, final score is let's see here let's see here finished first and I got 6250 points by myself in that match so that was pretty good um, that's a, that's a really high score to get by yourself. Plus, your teammate score is we had over nine thousand. Uh, I know it's over nine thousand. You know, whatever. Um, so that's that. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to thumbs up. If you want to see more, if you guys comment that you would like to see more Assassin's Creed gameplay, I will do what you guys want me to do. So tell me what you guys want. Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, uh, you let me know. But I, I'm thinking Call of Duty is kind of getting a little stale. And yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to play it, but um, it doesn't have that flair like it used to for me. So I'm not sure. Um, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. Hey guys, we're on Facebook. 
Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.